So, Abel, you want to recap what's been going on? Ah, uh, Abel. There's a disease. All right. Once every thousand years, there's a black book that brings a disease, and then there's a white book that cures the disease. And our Vice, main character found the white dumbass. book, Start which is Vice. Book, or you're be there's sorry. this lady named one Kanye. One one. She's got an attitude. That's who's talking Come now. With such a big smart brain, get hypnotized like a little bitch, huh? Oh, Shadow Lord, I love you, Shadow Lord. Come over here and give Vice a big sloppy kiss, Shadow Lord. Shadow Lord is who I take it is responsible for all of the shades. Sprites? What are they called? Shades. Shades. Yeah, shades. And there was a tit monster that was apparently just a big shade, even though it had a big bunch of tits for a neck. And it launched its tits judge. at us. Look. Just because they got tits for a neck. And it pretended to be Kanye's grandma. Uh, Ka Kanye. And Kanye said, my grandmother never had that many tits. And then she beat him up. Sure. Close enough. Oh, right. And then there was the whole city of rules. Yes, Desert and then City. When their, when their prince went missing, uh, they couldn't go looking for him because there were too many rules. So they had to send somebody who wasn't bound by any of those rules. And then after they found the prince, they went right on living that way. Doesn't, no, that they made a rule so that they can vote for different rules. Oh, yeah, that's going to turn out great. What's up, Bobola? Hi there. Here, you want to read this? This is. You... Oh, okay. Able to read. I'm writing in hopes of bringing to your attention a certain dream issue of concern regarding recent events in Dream the Village. Okay. I was hoping I might be dream able to get your advice, Dream, on the matter. Recently, there have been dream reports dream dream of a certain dream 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 of dream 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 evil dream 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 empty dream curse dream 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 evil dream 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 words dream 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 and dream 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 someone dream 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 got it dream 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 we're going to the forest of myth dream 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 the forest dream. Myth. Maybe I got a bad feeling about this. Will we find a full pair of pants for Kanye and Dream? No. Sorry, chat. There's no full pair of pants coming for Kanye. But it'll get better for Kanye. Is she going to release her new album? No, she's given up on that. Not on the ballot, Kanye. Kanye would never give up on music. Oh, did I, uh... Venison wheat. I gotta deliver that to there. I'm not catching ten sardines. Not finding that chicken egg. Nope, not finding that chicken egg. Oh, I need to... Hold on. I gotta get one more mouse tail. Uh, 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 hold on one sec. Um. I'm gonna do something real fast. It'll be fast because I have a boar. Where's my boar? Poor boar. Here, boar. Here, piggy, 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 piggy. Boar. Boar, boar. Hi, boar. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Ooh, that's... Okay. Fresh him with the pig. Get out of here. So I want to do a little bit of backtracking because I need to go grab a mouse tail. I'm low on my one mouse tail. It's lame. Abel, are you excited to have real internet? The most real internet. I am. Su. Mo Sugu. My eyes are starting to glaze over about near again. We're literally two minutes into it. Yeah. 
Like, literally nothing has happened yet. Yeah. Hold on, dude. I gotta go over here for a second. Catch a goddamn mouse. Hey, chat. What are we gonna talk about today, chat? Nothing. You're gonna sit there in uh, silence, Abel. Last time we discovered that every flavor besides chocolate Got and it. candy cat is the best candy. That's what I needed. All right. And we comprehensively broke down the tier of candy from S to F. So, how are we going to follow up that sterling research? Don't indulge him. Please, him sit here and I suffer. have to watch whatever this is for it's the next two hours. Like, what's your fucking problem? Like, uh, sat through a whole bunch of uh, Tecmo's deception. That was your idea. And? That's no, no, no. It's the Frogger you suffered through. The Frogger was fine. I mean, I didn't even look at Frogger. There was nothing to see on Frogger. Like, I didn't miss anything. Oh, yeah, and I'm not missing anything in near right now. Um, well, hold on. I'm, I'm just doing this one thing. I mean, squirrels have nails, presume. Yeah, squirrels have nails. That checks out. Uh, hard disagree. What are you talking about? Yeah, hey. squirrels do have nails, and it is tough to replicate because they come out of them different than they come out of our, our nails come out of us. Well, were you going for like a cartoony squirrel or a realistic well. squirrel? How? Hmm. Well, I guess they have kind of claws instead of nails. I would classify hey. them as tiny little claws. What's the difference? Nails, I think, um, is shape, uses. Hmm. Humans have nails, not claws. Monkeys have what? nails. Horses? Horses don't have not nails. Horses have hooves. Yo. What else has nails and not claws, chat? Got it. Alright. Elephants have? No, those are hooves too. Birds have claws. Fish don't have anything of that. Moles have nails. Or do they have claws? No, I would classify those as claws as well. <laughs> Chat, what's the difference between a nail and a claw? There is none. I, that's a hard disagree for me. I mean, like... I think literally they're a claw is a nail and a nail is a claw. No, no, it's the shape. I mean, I understand what you're saying. They're both made of keratin and a claw is a kind of nail. No, 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 no. A, a claw is not, no. Adam, do you have claws? I have nails. Do you? So do you have claws? I mean, they are claws. It's not Chat. Like keep it hidden forever. Does Adam have claws? Yo. Can't believe you think it. I don't know where to start with you. Hey. Where is SP? I'm so disappointed Espionage has places to be tonight. He would back me up. Hold on. Sorry. But it's certainly not normal. There you go. Still stands. All right, so you agree with me then, Duchess. Nails are not claws. I mean, wait, 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 wait. Sounds impressive. Just because you have nails doesn't <laughs> mean you have claws. Yes, that's the right the way to phrase that. Woman in the land. Surely you jest. No joke. 
Once she got so plastered that she practically destroyed the shop, knocked down a wall and everything. Does alcohol affect Devla in the same manner? Actually, Devla does the thing. If she has even a little, she starts getting a bit too, uh, friendly. Devil? <laughs> For sure. Oh, yeah. Alcohol is a fearsome chemical indeed. For true. Okay. It's okay. I got the drink. That's what I wanted to do. And now we can go to the Forest of Myth. Don't worry. You're going to be sad. busy this episode, Abel. I'm just sad chat's not backing me up here. There is no chat. You're going to have to deal with me, Abel. Someone's watching. Please. Indulge me. No. Get do not indulge this game. Man. Like, come on. Just running through fields. I'm sorry. Every single second isn't uh, breathtaking. That poor girl. I had to get this... Sometimes you gotta move. Sometimes there's transition points between things. Frogger was constant action. Uh, I wouldn't know. It was constant, uh, game overs. The Dark Souls of platforming. Here. Yo. Got the drink. Duchess would agree with me if she wasn't preoccupied. Here, Abel. What do you want from me? Is it? Did you do the thing? This is for you, Abel. Calm you down. No, it's fine. Abel, you're going to be very busy this episode. <sighs> Say. Alright, Abel. Eh? Let's go to the Forest of Myth. Yes, the Forest of Myth! Myth! The most mythical of forests. It consists of literally nothing but myth. I found the egg. Yeah. Are you sure it's not? Are you sure it's not forest of mist and that guy in your dream had a lisp? Um, I you mean, you have to go to the forest of myth. There's almost certainly mist there too. So don't worry, there'll be mist and myth, and you're gonna be very busy. Come here, boar, let's go! Straight ahead. First star to the right. And straight on till I fall asleep. I mean, we can go back and play more Tetris if you want. <laughs> the thrill of second game of Tetris. Here, we're here. Thank God for that boar. He's brought us the most entertainment so far. I disagree. Kaine. Yay, big Kaine. Well, there's Kaine fans in the chat, too, so I can't disagree there. Kaine's great. It sure is quiet here. Such silence birds ill. There's trouble on the way. Ah, yes. The fall with the That's myth. That's what I love about you, Vice. You're such an optimist. That's cheek. Such cheek. You cheeky bugger. All right. Beware the words. Abel, beware words. the words. Contagious words. All right, Abel. Hold on a moment. There's a strange new sensation in my mind. Weiss's voice rose in a quizzical way. Really? Is this... It is not quizzical. What's going on here? 
villager's body shuddered as he slowly opened his eyes. Perhaps we should start by asking this man. Oh, who are you? I'm near. This is Weiss. We heard something happened to this village, so we came to see if we could help. The villager stared at near and Weiss. You can speak to me. I must have caught you in my dream. How's that again? The villager explained. In the past weeks, a mysterious disease called the Death Dream had spread across the forest of myth. Those who caused it were cursed to fall asleep and live forever within the world of their own dreams. The village mayor had determined that the Death Dream was spread from person to person by spoken words, but before he could learn more, the disease took him as well. Why stared at the mayor, his mouth twitching slightly. Now see here, he said. Are you saying that we've been absorbed into your dream? Oh, wait, I got that voice wrong. Well, um, yes, said the mayor. I think you have. Oh, crap, said Nier. So that means we've caught the death dream. Before the mayor could confirm Nier's suspicion, Weiss exploded with rage. Ridiculous, preposterous, completely unfathomable on every conceivable level. I don't even recall falling asleep. The mayor attempted to, to take Weiss's complaints in stride. That's just how the death dream works, he said, brushing aside the book's remarks. My remarks shall not be brushed aside, fool, and it would behoove you to remember that this world allows me to view all of its narration. What? <laughs> the mayor twisted his mouth into an embarrassed grimace, then quickly changed the subject to who Nier had seen and what they had discussed since coming to the village. Something there must have caused you to enter my dream, said the mayor. A certain conversation, a specific word, something. Nair and Weiss racked their brains but could find no easy solutions. There were simply too many words to consider, too much random chatter, too many meaningless conversations. Grimoire Weiss does not engage in meaningless conversation. The mere suggestion that Weiss chose his words carelessly seemed to sting his pride. It does not <laughs> seem to sting my pride, you bloated gas bag of a narrator. It has demolished it utterly. Indeed, Weiss looked skyward, as if searching for answers in the heavens. I was doing no such thing. Just leave me alone already. The anger created by his harsh words bled over to Nier like a contagion. Wait, Nier said suddenly. <laughs> Did someone say, just say contagion? Yes, I believe so. What of it? Well, that villager told us to watch out for contagious words, right? The mayor leaned forward with renewed interest, pushing a startled Weiss aside in the process. Well, he must have said something, right? Asked the mayor. Some specific combination of words? What was it? It was about dreaming, or something that dreams, or... Oh, what the hell was it? A sheep! cried Weiss suddenly, blurting out the first thing that popped into his head. The other stared at him for a moment before slowly shaking their heads. After a few more minutes of thought, Nia's face suddenly lit up. I remember, he said. Those who dream. That's what he said. I'm sure of it. At this, the mayor produced a thick sheaf of papers from his pocket. He flipped through them a few times before finally nodding his approval at Nia. That sounds right, he said, as a stray seed of paper fluttered to the ground. My notes also mention something about that. I bet it was the last thing you heard before you fell asleep. The mayor shook his head as one pencil stubbed tracing lines across a lone piece of paper. For the last month, I've done nothing but study the disease we call the death dream, he said. I mean, I'm the mayor, right? It's my job to protect people from whatever comes along, but I never expected a couple of outsiders to start entering people's dreams. The mayor paused, a grimace crossing his face. I should probably be taking notes or something. Whites immediately fired back. I applaud the force of will it takes to research a disease in your dreams, he said. But perhaps we should bend your efforts to escaping this place instead of trying to understand it. The mayor's hand tightened around his pencil, snapping it off at the tip. I've tried to escape. From the very first moment I realized I was locked outside my own dream, I've been looking for a way out. 
but I don't think it exists. I mean, this is my dream, right? If there was an exit, I'd know about it. He paused for a moment, his unfocused eyes staring at nothing. My village was beautiful, he said to no one in particular, and it was filled with the most wonderful people you could ever hope to meet. But once this disease took hold, things changed. It's like someone took a sponge and soaked all the color out of our lives. I just want us to be whole again. I want us to be free. The mayor's voice took on a note of steely determination. I won't stop trying until it happens. Mayor nodded in agreement. Oh? Wait a second. I didn't nod. Why are you... Look, if we can be of any help, said Nia, just ask. Now hold on, I did not just say that. Silence, cried Weiss. The Grimoire looked from near to the mayor and back again, his face filling with confidence. Grimoire Weiss's face is always confident, thank you very much. Now see here, mayor, you told us that nothing can exist in this dream without your knowing of it. Yet you seem so surprised to see us when we first arrived, yes? Adam, why am I reading a fucking novel? We're in the forest of myth, Abel. God damn it. I told the mayor you. slowly raised his head, realization dawning on his face. Oh my god, he said. You're right, you're right. I had no idea you were coming. The human imagination is a limitless engine, said Weiss, and dreams are the fuel. If you can imagine an exit, then it must be so. You know how much fan fiction I read? <laughs> uh, with your permission, we shall search it out. Thank you, said the mayor. I don't know how I can repay you. Payment is not required, as we are eager as to be done with this place. The mayor suddenly felt with feet, as if he could breathe again. He'd almost forgotten what it was like. Good luck, you two, he called at the departing farms of Nier and Weiss. We're all counting on you. As Nier slowly faded into the misty forest of Moors, the mayor was struck by a sense of deja vu. I saw this man once before, he thought. But where? Nier's mood darkened as he trudged through the forest. Hours earlier, when the beauty of the place was still a new thing, he'd been confident they could get in, find the exit, and be home in time for dinner. But the deeper they went, the more the forest closed in around him. The mist made it difficult to see more than a foot in any direction, and the moss-covered rocks seemed determined to twist his ankle. More than once, he'd been forced to steady himself on the rough bark of a tree, and his hands now left small trails of blood on everything he touched. Additionally, Weiss was proving to be a spectacularly poor traveling companion. Unhindered by neither terrain nor physical effort, spent most of his time urging near to pick up the pace and grumbling about their slow progress. Finally, after Weiss muttered something about legless turtles being more adept at navigating the environment, Nier snapped. You know what, Weiss? He cried. Go to hell. We're stopping. I need to rest for a few minutes before I throw up. Nier leaned against a tree and tried to stretch the knots from his back. How can this stupid forest be so goddamn big? He muttered to himself. The moment the words tumbled from his mouth, a cacophony of insects sprang to life. As if infuriated by his lack of respect, every imaginable form of buzz, click, and hiss roared out with a volume that rattled his teeth. Nia slapped his hands over his ears and screamed as to be heard. Weiss, what the hell is going on? Nia could see Weiss's mouth moving, but he might as well have been shouting in a tornado. The insects screamed, the forest howled. And then, just as Nia's ears seemed ready to tear from his head and go running for cover, the sound diminished. Hesitantly, Nier removed the hand from his left ear and listened to the creatures of the woods. As the insect cacophony dimmed another decibel, Nier began to detect patterns in the sound. This isn't random, he thought. It's not just white noise, it's something else. The insects weren't just calling out, they were asking a question. One with it suffers, two with it is ideal, three with it is dangerous, what is it? By my pages, is this a riddle? I guess so. This kind of thing happens a lot in dreams, right? Maybe it's the key to getting out of this place. Then I leave it to you to answer. 
One with it suffers, two with it is ideal, three with it is dangerous. What is it? In Woodley, furious, that Weiss left the task to him near side and gave the only answer that made sense. It's a secret. Uh, right. The sound of the insects stopped as suddenly as it began. The forest undergrowth parted before near like a rippling wave, opening a new path. These forest arthropods are making a road for us, said Weiss with glee. Pleased at the passing test, Nier moved on with new intensity. The path offered its body relief from the undergrowth, but it gave even greater cheer to his mind. As long as they were on a path, their journey had a purpose. I guess the forest has accepted us, huh? Nier said after a little bit. Why spun around to face his companion? Do not mistake the will of this forest for some happy pet you can suddenly befriend. We have no idea where this path leads. As Weiss finished speaking, the pair turned a corner and found themselves facing a clear forest spring. Smiling, Nia picked up a small rock and sent it skipping across the surface of the water. Good heavens, said Weiss. His surprise was understandable. Each time the rock struck the surface of the water, a musical note rang out. When the rock finally stopped moving and sank to the bottom of the spring, the ripples le left behind came together to form words. I enter through the window, but I break no glass. When night falls, I vanish. What am I? Absurdly easy, barked Weiss. Now answer it. Nia grit his teeth and tried not to reach out and strangle his companion. <laughs> He's right after all. This one is pretty easy. I enter through the window, but I break no glass. When night falls, I vanish. What am I? Sunlight. A plume of water suddenly burst from the spring. Sunlight flitted through the trees and reflected off the plume, creating a shimmering rainbow that spanned the entire horizon. In all my years, Weiss said softly, I've never seen such a sight. Perhaps I've misunderstood the intentions of this place. Hey, look, cried Neo, waking Weiss from his daze. There's a house over there. Glancing in the direction of his friend's extended hand, Weiss saw a small cottage nestled in the trees. That's weird, isn't it, Weiss? I mean, who would build a house all the way out here? Neo walked over and pounded on the door. After a minute of solid banging, the door cracked open and a small man peered out. His body was cloaked from the neck to toe in a large black cape while its face was obscured by mist. Um, began near, but before he could get any further, the cloaked man held up a hand and began speaking. I have four legs in the morning and two at noon, but I end night with three. What am I? Nia tried to ask the cloaked man who he was and what he was doing there, but he simply repeated the question. If we wish to engage this man in conversation, said Weiss, it seems we must answer his riddle. Yeah, I suppose, said Nia. Yeah, well, at least it's an easy one. I have four legs in the morning, two at night, but I end the night with three. What am I? A man. The mist dissolved from the cloaked figure as he spoke a single word. Correct. With that, the man flung his garment aside, revealing his true identity. You're the mayor, cried Nia. The small man slowly shook his head. I am not the mayor you know. Now listen to my word. Long ago, I saw a version of you that not yourself. You saw... Well, wait, you saw what? I'm sorry, I don't understand a thing you just said. It will make sense in time. At present, I simply congratulate you on cracking the seal of the death dream. Now you must go to the man at the forest entrance. With that, the man turned on his heel and slammed the door behind him. Nia watched Miss seeped up from the ground and enveloped the college, erasing it from existence. When Nia and Rice returned to the forest entrance, they found the mayor leaning against a tree. As soon as he caught sight of the duo, he sprang to his feet and scrambled over to them. Good gravy, he cried. You made it. You actually made it back. He left his hand grasped near nears and pumped it so fiercely it threatened to dislodge from the socket while his right seized Weiss by the cover and swung him through the air. Gah! By the heavens, stop shaking me, fool! We have not even told you if we were successful or not. The mayor smiled broadly and shook his head. I'm just happy you're alive. I didn't think I'd ever see you again. 
Nier withdrew himself from the mayor's eager handshake with a slight smile. We broke the death dream seal, he said. At least I think we did. The mayor's face beamed as Nier filled him in on the detail. When the tale was done, the three of them laid down on the forest ground and fell asleep. Wait a second. That's crazy. Why would we just lay down and go to sleep? This is one hell of a story. Cease your endless prattle and go to sleep, fool. Fighting against the rules of this place is futility itself. Nier and the mayor obediently reclined atop a grassy earth. Have you forgotten? Continued Weiss. It is words that control the death, death dream. Words that allow us to move from place to place. No matter how unnatural they seem, the words are absolute. Therefore, if the words tell us to sleep, then sleep we shall. And once we do, the story will continue. With that, the trio found their eyes growing heavy, their breath slowing. This is the first time, began the mayor, the first time I've felt tired since I was present here. His words were cut off by a loud, long yawn, and he remembered nothing more. They might have slept for an hour or a year. When they awoke, things had slightly more real quality to them. The mist felt thicker, the leaves greener. It was clear that they had awakened from their dream. Nair shook the mayor's shoulder gently. Good news, he said. We made it. Oh, wow, said the mayor in an odd voice. We did. I'm back. He blinked once, twice, as though not quite believing the sight before him. You have no idea how much this means. The death dream had started to spread through our village, and I wanted to... Well, I thought I could figure out how to stop it, but I guess that wasn't the case. I must have caught the disease and become trapped in my own dream. The mayor started to stand, then collapsed back to the earth. He stared at his legs as if trying to remember how they worked, then glanced at Nier and shrugged. Without a word, the fighter reached down and pulled the mayor to his feet. Real life may take some getting used to. A wry smile crossed the mayor's lips. You shall relearn in short order, I am sure, said Weiss. For now, you should return to your home and rest. No, said the mayor, sawing on his unsteady feet. No, I can't. Some of the villagers are still trapped in the death dream. I have to save them. The mayor slowly made his way to the divine tree in the center of the village, then bowed his head and prayed silently. This is a holy tree, he explained when the prayer was finished. It's the guardian of our village's history and memories. Superstition will only make our mission harder, but at Weiss, we should not put our faith in the gods. The mayor shook his head. Not the gods, the words. Legend says that our tree is home to a powerful magic known as a sealed verse. <gasps> Nani? Yeah, and Weiss could not contain their surprise. It seemed a goal of they had been found in the most unexpected of places. I say, muttered Weiss, this is certainly a stroke of luck. As the three of them said their goodbyes, Nia mentioned the strange man who had given them the third riddle in the mysterious words which he had left them with. I once saw a version of you that was not yourself, muttered the mayor. What in the world? Lost in thought, he stared into space for a long moment. You know, he said softly, this is going to sound weird, but I had a feeling I'd seen you before, too. Nia tried to keep a straight face and failed, but the mayor didn't seem to notice. Deja vu, right? Anyway, I figured it's just some kind of illusion created by the death dream. It probably doesn't mean anything. Nia gave the mayor a nod and a smile, but inwardly his thoughts were racing. There's something wrong about the mayor and his words. I wish I understood what the hell was going on here. The rat riddle would be proved the most difficult one of all. We did it. That's probably a record for actually reading that section. We did it. Now I have dark execution. I think is. <sighs> So easy. Yeah. Told you you'd be busy. Yeah, I think I might be quiet for a little while. Uh, it's the it's the forest. 
You can't see, but I, uh... I said a good name. Uh, but don't worry, Abel. No! Ah, oh, shit. I read for three hours, Abel. <laughs> I pray that yes, ended with death and resist the urge to laugh, for I know it will be the sound like the words of a madman. How long have I been in this fresh hell? How yes, long, Adam. Abel? How long have we been in this fresh hell? My box, my prison, is tucked under a stairway in the long unused catacombs of some infinite castle outside. I hear the sounds of a funeral dirge that seems without end. Light has no place here. Wind is a forgotten friend. I pray for I death mean, to come, but he forsakes me. I can read this one. Yeah, go ahead. Time passes, and eternity slips by in the single tick of a clock. Somebody knocks on my prison. Hey, anyone there? I hear an unfamiliar voice say. My savior! I claw at the door of my cell, embedding thick splinters under my ragged nails. I scream for help. I laugh, I sob. Surely this is the product of my addled mind. Surely it cannot be true. Help me, I cry. For the love of all the gods, help me. Impossibly, I hear the sound of a lock being torn out and falling to the floor. As the door suddenly creaks open, I have just enough time to see a silver-haired man and a floating book before the light pours inside. My eyes, unaccustomed uh, accustomed to blackness, explode with pain and I'm forced to turn away. Who are you, I ask, shaking hands, uh, sh covering my face. How have you come to this place? I am Grimoire Vice. This is near. Long have we been searching for you. Now come, stand. We shall awaken from this nightmare together. The one known as Nier extends his massive hand and pulls me from the cell. Though my eyes are slow to adjust to freedom, my ears are as keen as ever, and they recognize the staccato sounds of heavy rain. I never thought to hear the rain again, I whisper. Is that staccato? It's the best I could do. Would that this were not such a terrible storm, said Grimoire Weiss. Look at your feet. I force my eyes open and see water pooling around my feet and lapping at my shins. There's so much of it. Yes, and more comes each moment we delay. If we do not make good our escape, we shall all drown in this castle. Uh, we know you are weak, but you are our only hope to survive this place. Time, that long-forgotten friend, made itself known again. I nodded my head and swore to save my rescuers, no matter the cost. The castle catacombs are a maze, twisting upon themselves like the endless entrails of a giant. I squint down the dim corridors and proceed north. Oh, sorry. Proceed north. At the end of the corridor, I find a row of twenty gorgeous canopied breads resting atop a carpet of velvet. All are covered in a thick layer of dust and cobwebs. Searching for the door to the next room, I come across a upon a shapeless mass of gray matter. It has been shoved against the side of the wall, and despite my fever, I think I see the outlines of a door just behind, beyond the... When I reach out a finger and touch a piece of the mass, it turns into dust and drifts away on the wind. Realization slowly dawns, and I fall to my knees and weep. Corpses. I face a mountain of charred and crumbling corpses. I look from it to the beds and back again until the horror dawns upon me fully. Someone has piled these bodies into a tower and set them ablaze. Whether they were alive or dead, I do not know, and sanity will not permit me to consider the proposition further. I make a sound. Whether scream or laughter, I cannot be certain. Then my mind grants me merciful blackness, and I find myself opening the door and leaving that most terrible of rooms. I squint down the dim corridors and proceed east and north and west. At the end of the path, a row of heavy wooden casks lie on their sides in a dark chamber. Doubtless they're filled with wine. My thirst roars to life. I cannot remember the last time my parched throat had relief. I scramble to the first cask and pull frantically at the cork. The theft of a few cups means nothing, I tell myself. The casks will be ruined by the flood regardless. Finally, the cork surrenders to my attack, and thick red liquid bursts forth from the hole. This is no wine. 
It is blood still warm from the body, whether animal or something else, I cannot say. The foul liquid soon mixes with the rising floodwaters, creating a warmth that laps against my thighs. By all the gods, are the rest of these casks filled with blood as well? I lack the courage to confirm my suspicion. Disgust quickly becomes fear as I turn to flee, but my weakened legs betray me, sending me toppling into the red ocean below. The smell of death is everywhere. It threatens to consume me. I must escape this hell. Crawling on all fours like an animal, holding back screams lest any foulness enter my mouth, I lurch forward through the red waters and out of the room to freedom. I squint down the dim corridors and proceed east and north. At the end of the path, the waters rise to my waist, exhausting me both physically and spiritually. I pray that this is the way out. Eventually, I can stand the sight of the waters no longer, and so turn my eyes upward. Imagine my surprise when I see a, ser when I see a series of paintings hanging on the faded plaster wall. Each depicts a person in the prime of life, clad in clothing of the highest quality. The styles, however, are strange to me, leading me to believe that these people had lived long, long ago. One subject was an outfit that particularly catches my eye. It is constructed of a thin, breezy cloth and decorated with a motif of flowers and birds, while encircling the figure's waist is a leather belt of the most perfect construction. It is a stunning costume, even by modern standards. As I gaze at the portrait, I am struck by a desire to touch it with my own hands. Yet as I extend a single finger to the painting, I am gripped by a most unpleasant feeling. Staring closely at the image, I see it bend and warp into the shape of another finger. Something behind the picture is pointing at me. Is it another prisoner? A fellow inmate trapped for eternity in this place? I cannot let it pass, so I seize the portrait with both hands and throw it into the water. The wall is hollow behind the painting, and inside I can just make out a body. Whether or not this is a prisoner, there would be no rescue. This poor soul is long dead. Scraps of clothing lie on the floor around the bones. Only a small amount of the fabric has survived, but it features the same intricate, delicate designs that were depicted in the portrait. I have been admiring a row of corpses blocked from view by portraits of each victim at their pinnacle. Enough! Shielding my eyes, I paddle forward through the water. I squint down the dim corridors and proceed south. And south? And west? The water has risen to my chin and now laps greedily at my nose and mouth. You dumb bast shouts near. He certainly desires to say more, but the rest of his insult is cut short by the rising water. Grimoire of ice, wet and tattered, floats on the water's surface. It is already too late for him. This wasn't... This wasn't how it was supposed to end. You fucked up. So yeah, <laughs> this turned into a... What do they call them? It's a text adventure. Text adventure. This game has everything. It does. Bullet hell, text adventure. You sure didn't see this coming, did you? Platformer. No, I didn't see all of this text adventure. Well, see? It's surprising you at every turn. Right, yeah. I was surprised. Do you know how to get out of the text adventure, this one? I'm gonna do it right. Okay. Oh, damn it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> he said cursing. I'm gonna do, do it, it right. Wrong. Damn it. Uh, I find myself in a great hall with only the sounds of rain for comfort. The waterlogged red carpet squishes beneath my feet as I approach the center of the room. Once there, I behold a beautiful dining table upon which rests china and silver of the finest construction, as well as the remains of a fantastic feast. As my eyes continue to adjust, I see many chairs surrounding the table, each holding a dinner guest. Noticing movement, I approach the chair at the table's head, but as the truth of the matter dawns on me, I recoil in horror. The host of the feast is a corpse, and all, and as are all the invited guests. An army of foul, wriggling insects have made their homes in their remains, and this is the movement I saw. This once splendid feast was now nothing more than a requiem for the damned. I take a moment to steady my shaking hands, then slowly back away from the table. Desperate to lose sight of the abomination before me, my gaze lands on the chairs upon which the dead were seated. This is a mistake, for the chairs prove to be even more terrible than the feast itself! 
Each one is covered in a layer of spikes that run from the seat up the back and down the arms. This explains the color of the carpet beneath my feet. I can only pray that the unfortunate diners were dead when the meal began. For if not, it is a simple task to envision the agonizing, the agonized screams that must have sprung forth from their mouth. My mind grasps frantically at the possibility that their souls had committed some terrible crime for which this was punishment. Though in truth, I suspect they had committed no crimes at all. There would be no tomorrow for these unfortunates. This was their last supper. Against all hope, we make it to the front door. <laughs> Break it down, Break somebody cries, and so I give myself to the effort. In tandem with Nier and Grimoire of Ice, I slam my body against the thick, sturdy door. On the third try, it gives way, and we find ourselves sprawled in front of the castle. The storm is in retreat. The clouds above are all still dark and foreboding, but to the west, I can see a thin shimmer of starlight, of sunlight trying to break through. How can I thank you? I cry as tears join the rain on my cheeks. I would surely have died in there. Looking down, I suddenly notice that my dress is in tatters and sheepishly try to cover my exposed skin. Your dress? Asks Swice. Then you are ah. a woman, madam. Yes, I am. I proffer the two a smile. I suppose that comes somewhat as, as something as a surprise, seeing as how I exist only in the form of words. I can see the one known as Nier is disappointed that the torn dress will be given no further description, but he hides it well. With a nod and a shrug, the three of us set forth to our awakening. But behind us, an awakening of another kind is taking place. Black oh, smoke fills the abandoned castle, providing the countless damned souls inside with their final shroud. After a moment, the castle's windows shatter with a mighty roar. A fresh breeze blows through the hallways and corridors, clearing the smoke away for good. As we watch in awe, uncountable black shadows slowly flicker to life, crossing to and fro in front of the broken windows. The castle's dead have awakened to their new life as shades. You have anything to say about that? Hopefully there'll be no labyrinth next time. Take a, a sip of water here. <sighs> hey, Abel. Mm -hmm. There's one more. Okay. Well, this weird stuff should be up your alley, Abel. <laughs> you like reading. A colony of massive sculptures was visible in the distance, their tall forms scraping against the sky. Bison near had never seen such a sight, their eyes widened as they tried to take it in. Hey, Vice, we keep walking, but those things don't get any closer. I don't get it. Are they really that big? As Vice considered this answer, the sun beat down on them with renewed ferocity. Perhaps there's some manner of mirage, he said. Under this heat, a mirage or two would hardly be an unexpected sight. Nier nodded and wiped the sweat off his brow, leaving a trail of sand in its place. He thought he'd never been so thirsty. The ancient road on which they walked was black and cracked with age. Here and there, wisps of grass pushed up through the rocky surface as if to find those who had laid this material down over their home. The heat reflected from the road made Nier lightheaded. Suddenly, he dropped to his knees and slammed his hand against the black surface. God damn it, he said. Is this some kind of joke? Well, I'm not laughing. The complaining had already begun. Vice tried not to let his eyes roll too much. A joke, he said. No, no joke. This road leads to the city of art. Perhaps the path itself is simply some manner of grand artistic work. Oh, come on. That's bullshit, and you know it. Possibly. But thinking of it in this way might make it easier for you. Bear. Nick glanced at Weiss's grinning face, cast silently to himself, and resumed walking. As time passed, Nia's feet grew more painful, and his throat dried than he thought possible. He tried not to look further than the next step ahead, because the bright sunlight made him hesitant to trust his own senses. We are definitely getting closer, said Weiss in an effort to cheer his companion. 
Yes, this much is certain. Encourage near lifted his gaze. Suddenly, he stopped walking, choosing to stand in the middle of the road with his mouth and eyes wide open and his feet pointing in the distance. Water, he cried. It's water. Water? asked Wise. Preposterous. I don't see any water. It's right there, idiot. Can't you see it? Look, the sun is reflecting off it. Without waiting for a response, Nair sprang to life and batted towards the site. What in the... There was no water. There was nothing but sand in every direction. Nair closed his eyes inside. His wife floated up behind him, chuckling softly. I believe this is known as a mirage, he said. Many a traveler, desert traveler, has spoken of such things. Nair shook his head, bewildered. Suddenly, he pointed off in the distance. His eyes wide once more. Wait, there it is. I just missed it. Look, it's right there. Nair sprinted off again, leaving Weiss with no choice but to follow. After a few minutes of running, Nair came to a halt. I could have sworn it was right around here. Confused, he put his hands up to his eyes and rubbed them vigorously. As soon as he stopped, he noticed a blue shimmering pool of clear water just over the next rise. With a shout, he bounded off in search of it. The chase continued for nearly an hour until an exasperated vice finally floated up to Nair and struck him in the face with his cover. You damn blithering idiot, stop this at once. There is no water here. Nair's face clouded. There. There isn't. There is not. And perhaps next time you will listen to me when I tell you as much. Wise paused for a moment, then continued speaking in a slightly kinder tone. However, I suppose this mad chase was not altogether wasted. It seems we have arrived in the city of art. Nair looked up, stretched out before him with a row of impossibly tall sculptures. Their journey was at an end. They're huge, cried Nair, completely forgetting the heart and heat and pain of the last few hours. I've, I've never seen anything so big. Each sculpture was formed from roughly the same shape, a tall rectangle that stretched up towards the sky. But that is where the similarities ended. Most were covered with panes of glass that reflected the light in a thousand directions, while others seemed to be nothing but frames of steel. Some had tall spires on their tops, while others possessed triangular caps. What kind of city is this, said Nair? Where are the people? Where are their houses? Perhaps the land is intended exclusively for artistic use. The debate continued as they made their way through the city. Miracles of artistry were everywhere. Great iron crates with wheels sat silent on steel rails. Beautifully carved works with lights of red, amber, and green dangled over every street. As they moved away from the massive sculptures, they found a greater way of smaller ones. Some were covered in glass or brick, but many were composed of materials they had never before encountered. The sheer variety of colors and size was staggering. Unable to find a theme or purpose to the abstract works around them, Nier and Weiss suddenly fell, eventually fell silent. On the outskirts of the city, they discovered three sculptures in the shape of humans. Nier uttered a sigh of relief as he approached them. Finally, I was getting tired of modern art. The three statues were indistinguishable except for a single word chiseled into their right arm. Red Alpha, one Red Beta, and the other Omega. As Nia moved to touch the nearest statue, a bird flew from the top of one of the sculptures. Alighting on the statue's shoulder, it emitted a brief, beautiful song that took the form of words. Only the form is real. The others are false. The real form will always speak the truth. The false one will only speak lies. With that, the bird departed as if on cue that the three statues shouted to life, acquiring for color and form as they began to breathe. Hey, look at that, said Nia. They're alive. The triplets bowed low before Nia. Please, said Alpha. You have to get me out of this nightmare. I am real. Stop lying, said Beta. He turned to Nia and threw his hands in the air. Alpha's a fake, you know. I'm the real one. What a load of crap, said Gamma. Beta is fake. Everyone knows I'm the only real one here. 
Their respective pleas given, the three statues return the dead frozen state in silence once again envelop the city. When you consider all of their statements, only one of them could be the real thing, said Weiss. Near furrowed his eyebrows and considered his answer. Only one form is real, the others are false. The real form will always speak the truth. The false ones will only speak lies. Well... There's no other hints. It's a one in three chance. It's either Alpha, Beta, or Gamma, and you fail, or you don't fail, that's it. The real one is Gamma. The eyes of the statue shone with an eerie light. The light grew stronger and stronger until Nier and Weiss were forced to turn away. This is the worst job ever, no kidding. It's the same thing. Ah. So, Alpha then? It's only three answers, Adam. And it's Beta. Kind of hint would have been great. So, beta it is. Though Nier's voice portrayed a notable lack of confidence, he was revealed, relieved to see Weiss nodding at him. If Alpha were telling the truth, began Weiss in the dry tones of a lecturer, Beta and Gamma would be fakes. But in that case, Gamma's claim that Beta is fake would be the truth, even though Gamma is a liar. Therefore, that theory crumbles. Now let us presume that Gamma spoke the truth. That makes Alpha and Beta liars. In this situation, however, Beta is calling Alpha a liar, which would leave us with two statues telling the truth. Finally, let us assume that Beta is telling the truth. If so, Alpha and Gamma's lies would make sense. Therefore, Beta must be real. As Weiss finished his explanation, Alpha and Gamma crumbled soundlessly into dust while Beta sprang to life once more. Congratulations, villager, White said Weiss in a cheerful voice. The time to awaken has arrived. Thank you for saving me, cried the villager. He dropped to his knees and bowed his head as low as it could go before an uncomfortable near pulled him to his feet. Why did you have to have a dream like this, asked Weiss. Have you been to this city before? The villager slowly looked around at the bizarre objects and sculptures that dotted the landscape, then shook his head. Uh, I don't think so. I mean, it's impossible, right? There's no way I could have ever been to a place like this. But at the same time, I feel like I've seen it before. Deja vu. But it near. Just like that damn mayor. The vague sense of unease that struck near during the mayor's dream spread once more through his mind. Okay, that was terrible. Yay! The reading is over, everybody. Hello. Uh, 
All right. like, nah, I'm not going into the city with you. Fuck off. So did you 100% this game when you played it the first time, Adam? Adam? Adam! Oh, oh wow. Sorry. Oh. Um... Yes. No, no, I did not 100% this game. And, uh... That was the Forest of Myth. Sorry. Ah. I, I was saying... I was saying it, but my camera... My mic was muted. Yes, the... The word plays over. The Forest of Myth has been defeated. It's just, you know... It just turns into a text adventure for a little bit. Yep. Kind of like how there is no game became other things. Yeah. This game takes a lot of uh, interesting twists, and now it has planted some foreboding. But we're, you know, we're almost done. There's not much mm -hmm. after. Dealing with all those words was a pain in the ass. I almost forgot the opening sequence. Yes. Ah. Let's go see Yona. Yeah, it's all. It, we haven't. Oh, we haven't made a meal. We need a meal in here. It'll all make. It'll all tie into near automata. Ooh. But you also didn't play. Correct. Poor girl. Uh, less text adventures in that one. Ooh. What's the letter? All right. We gotta meet a meal. We gotta go meet the Shadow Lord. And there'll be no more text adventures. Have you seen the South Park Pandemic Special? I have. Oh my god, I watched it earlier oh. tonight. Huh. Ridiculous. It was great. Well, it's a shame they did it a week early. Huh? Oh, there's also... A week also... early or what? No, oh, hold on. Let me hold on, let me read this first. It's sick. We gotta go help him. Yes. <laughs> He's too young for a boyfriend. Mm. Alright. Let's go save this boy. Um... There's a... <laughs> uh, SNL is back tonight. I haven't watched SNL in a long time. It's just alright. I mean, I don't know. This is gonna be a little fucking um. crazy. Yes, I know. I already got the egg. Oh, yeah. Uh... For the month of October, I guess, SNL is going to be back. Live! Guess what? I got the egg! Um... Oh, I got the egg! I found the egg! Well... Get, take... Somebody take this egg! God damn it. I don't know who wanted the egg. The Black Scrawl's here too? I'm just gonna go. Spooky Mansion time. But can you imagine 
the SNL writers now frantically s struggling to. Fuck you. Fuck all of you. How can these beasts let us dispatch them without complaint? And what would make them appear in this area in the first place? It is hardly what one would call the special purple brown. Busy, get out of my way. Finished! Alright. The sculpture is sculpted. Get out of my way! Fucking. Alright. It's time to go, uh. Spooky time. Spooky, scary skeletons. We've been waiting for you. Please. Right this way. Hey, it's, it's, hey, it's, how, it's October, so that means spooky mansion time. Fucking Naruto running. Ooh. Resident Evil time. Please wait here. Waiting's a bitch. Just let me know if any shades show up, okay? Well, we've come this far. I suppose we can't turn back now. This boyfriend better be worth it. Okay. Guess I'll wait for a sec. What's up, Kaine? I don't get how she can sleep. It's just like laying this. on the couch like that. She must have no. Draw me like one of your steel. French girls, Adam. I mean, she's she's naked enough. I don't get how she. she... Can't jump on the tables, come on. He did tell me to wait. Or I could leave. What is that? Oh. I don't like this one bit. You sound scared, Vice. Yeah, it's Resident Evil now. Uh, oh, yeah. Now, why don't we head back? Maybe. I was trying to jump on the table, and I couldn't get up on the table. Darkness, moon. Resident Evil. Moon prism power! Hey, where'd Kaine go? I knew this was a terrible idea. Haunted manners and the like. Oh, why does no one ever listen to me? Because you're an irritating book. Yeah, more or less. Okay. Where did Kaine go? Ooh. Anything, 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 anything? No, not, not this way. All right. I mean, they even modeled this opening room kind of off of the Resident Evil mansion. Yeah. Honestly. What's wrong? Wait, like, if I'm going to have ketchup, I would prefer Help. it be room Somebody temperature. Somebody get me out of here. I mean, cold ketchup can be good cold if you're in the right mood for Cold it. ketchup is fine. I got nothing against cold ketchup, but I would prefer room temperature ketchup. The I'm temperature, gonna, yeah, like, putting, it, putting hot food in a cold ketchup. I mean, if you're putting cold... Nasty, I mean, that's a stretch. I mean, it's... Look, it's fine.
Mm. Look at all these statues. I mean, you, yeah, look, you, you put hot food in it to cold ketchup, uh, comes hot ketchup. Yeah, that's my feelings on it. But yes, I, that's why I prefer to get the packets when you get the food, and then you get Shades. warm ketchup. What foul hole does they call from? Hey, do you want to play Resident Evil without any of the combat, that or atmosphere that made it tense? I uh, know. I never want to play Resident Evil. I have never wanted to play Resident Evil. I guess. When it's not really Resident Evil, except in how the uh, the camera shifts are terrible. What? You son of a bitch. And there's giant spiders. There are giant spiders. Oh, I can't dodge in this. Yeah, alright, fine. This is straight up Resident Evil 1 right now. Except instead of a grenade launcher, you have I got this. magic spears. It's alright. We got giant spider silk. Gonna need that later. You're an adult. Male. Maybe... 40? How dare you. This is an awkward way to start a conversation. Usually it's, hi, what's your name? Usually it's like, uh, you're an adult, maybe 30. Don't say anything. Shh, shh. You got all that from my footsteps? It's not hard once you know how. And I suppose I should tell you about my friend, Vice. I... I only heard one set of footsteps. And that's when I was carrying yeah. it. Grimoire Vice does not strut about like a common land mammal. Figure that <laughs> one out, daredevil. But enough of this introductory chatter. Let us hear your tale. Yeah, basically. My name is Emil. I'm the master of this manor. You the kid who sent a letter <laughs> to my little girl? Letter? I don't know anything about a letter. No, of course not. Such a thing would be far too simple. No, stay back. Huh? I'm sorry. It's my eyes. Anything I look at gets turned to stone. Oh, shit. That's why I live with this blindfold. You are not allowed to date my daughter, then. <laughs> what a remarkable skill. I have never heard of such a thing. Anyway, uh, my butler might know more about the letter you received. My key can unlock any door in the manor. So, if you want to follow me... That's all right. You can get around on your own. Yeah, oh. you stay away from me with your Medusa <laughs> shit. Okay, here's the key. All those statues in the core in the... the ah. Are at the far yeah, this is starting manner. to make sense now. Let me give you a map. Yeah, you stay in your fucking piano room. To get lost. The butler's quarters are at the far... Oh, yeah, if we don't cure this kid, he's not dating our daughter. Kind of Leave her. That woman is capable enough on her own. True enough. Somebody. Anybody. What are your legs stone or something? Aha, I knew this was a trap. Curse my brilliant intuition. It's no butler. That's a damned ugly time bomb. <laughs> oh, too close. Get punched. <laughs> that punch is damn good. Duchess is writing better head cannon than what the game's got. Oh, what's that? <laughs> That the uh, the boy hand instead of handing him a map, the boy handed him a <laughs> restaurant menu, but it's upside down. <laughs> Near just felt too awkward to tell him. A meal is going to be very important, and that's all our party members. The blind kid. The blind kid. Emil. 
This is so he we turn people to stone with him? Is that it? The butler. I'm sorry. This is Ah fucking Resident Evil cameras. The reason we changed. <laughs> reason Resident Evil 4 made improvements, damn it. I agree. This is the far end. Right, little... then we'll jab just some kid. You can't vertically leap 50 feet I can't. with the propulsion of his urine. <laughs> Inferior to Kainé in every way. <laughs> Blood! Sorry. <laughs> what is that? Another one? <laughs> what? It moves. What are we all what? scared of? What's the matter, sir? There were fake butlers in the other rooms. Yes, oh. this is my butler. He helps me out around the manor. <laughs> <laughs> I really weigh her down. A bit inflexible, <laughs> almost like a statue. Yes, and I do apologize for that, Master Emil. <laughs> I doubt he's even human. Look, someone sent a letter to my daughter. Hmm, yes. I wrote the letter. Please forgive my impression. I'd like to date I'm your daughter. I'm gonna whoop your ass. <laughs> As you may know, Master Emil, deeply pained by his eyes, has shut himself away from the world. He suffers greatly behind that blindfold. And I feel it is my duty to help however I can. I heard what is tale that? of your courageous exploits. And so I sent a letter under Master Emil's name. But I received a response from one Miss Yona instead. So what, you so decided you to catfish her? <laughs> I did, sir. My letter merely requested that you come to the manor. I meant no ill intent. I believe Yona saw the exchange <laughs> just like differently. Then, uh... She's just a kid. And the cops show up. I didn't understand what was going on. <laughs> Regardless... I am quite pleased to see you. Here. I can't make a to catch a predator I joke. Dreamed of the day when we could cure Master Emil's eyes. I think you want a doctor. I'm just a big guy who kills things. Couldn't have said it any better myself. Well, off we go. Is then. there a blindfolded kid in automata? Please, we're so close. The characters the are blindfolded. Condition is to you play That's true. Man. I guess. I guess. So why don't you just go get it? The location of the cure has become a den for those abominable shades. And I lack the skill to combat them. I beg of you, Hold on. defeat these shades and restore Master Emil's sight. Oh well, yes, shit! This is an impossible task. Why would you ask it of our guests? Kid, 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 kid. <laughs> We've no more time Have you ever seen a tit monster? This is literally the only thing I'm good <laughs> at. I mean, <laughs> maybe you haven't seen one lately, but seriously. Better Yona's chances. Plus, we have to find. Um, oh hey! Yo 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 yo! I owe you a debt that can never this be This kid repaid. thinks we can't handle a few shades, but he's never seen a tit monster, I'm guessing. To ask. I'm sorry. And you missed all You'll the great uh, text right? adventure stuff. That's gotta be some help, right? Um. I'm sorry. My butler thinks so much of me. But for him to make such outlandish requests... Kid. I'm coming with you. It's we unfair killed... to let you go on your own. Shut up, we killed a tit monster the size of a building. Um, You're gonna look at me for some reason and turn me to stone. Just stay back. <laughs> Seriously. Um, up, 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 up. Well, the, th the thing about. Oh, he did, he turned him to stone. <laughs> That's pretty good. Jeez. <laughs> That's intense. Um. But the thing about, like, near Automata... Oh god, look at all these pictures have been changing. Ah. Uh. Uh, the thing about near Automata is that everyone in that game is a robot, and so nobody has any character. Like, the yeah. thing about Nier is that all of these ca all of these characters are really good and well-written and fun. Uh, and in near Automata, they're just all robots, and they have no emotions because they're robots. And that's the whole... That's their whole personality. Blade of Treachery. Mm, not treacherous enough. Nope. 
Whoa! Hi, buddy. Hey. You can Go help back. Me. You can help me with these, Emil. Yeah, where's your stone gargoyle golem shit now? It's fine. And Spike? Gorgon. Gorgon's the word I'm thinking of, everybody. Gorgon. Yeah, I suppose. Medusa was a Gorgon. Um, alright, alright. Notice how the, the, the battle theme fades up into the same music and fades out? Oh, yeah, yeah. No, I'm... I'm it's real good. The, There's nothing the music in this game is amazing. What? Get out of my way! Get out of my way! Ha. <laughs> yeah, Adam, maybe you just have something against robots. Yeah, they're, they're boring, and their whole thing was about how they don't have personalities or emotions. Which is fine, but then it's like, how can you say these are good characters when their character is, I don't have emotions and a personality? <laughs> I thought part of the game was struggling with their emotions because they're not supposed to have them, but they have them anyway. Uh, the side character, like 9S, has emotions, but 2B doesn't. That's, that's her whole thing, is that the main character never has that arc. But the other characters do. I don't know. It's fine. I like Nier Automata, but it's... Uh, the characters in this game are really good, like... I, all right. I, I. What is a. Uh, what is your. Co what is your standard for good? What. What do you mean good? Good is my standard. I mean. Good. All right. What so do you like, mean? What's my standard? Better than like. This is it. We should find the cure somewhere nearby. <sighs> I do not like anything about this place. Ghostbusters! Oh, hey, man. is that Grimoire Noir? All these talking books. That's Grimoire Noir. Oh, great. Why does every book I meet have a bad attitude? Ah. Yes, sir. Yeah, here's a, here's a secret for all of you lucky people that are watching us here in the early days. If you want to know why we're avatars and we're not us, it's because we refuse to actually play video games in anything but our underwear. That is not true. <laughs> that, this is what, Abel's. How, what do you mean that is not true? All right. The reason... You want to know what I said? No, no, no. You stop for a minute. You stop for a minute. I said, Adam, Adam, what's that thing? You said you were gonna be real on camera. You said you wanted to be, maybe be a real person, and he went, No, no, I never said that. And I said, Yeah, yeah, yeah. You wanted, you said maybe you'd be no, a on real person. Yeah, you were on worried about on stream, I never and wanted to be said, a real person. And you and I said, Why? And you said, Because then I'd have to put a shirt on. No, this was this was you said. Give me a reason. Give me a reason. I was like, That was the reason I gave you. But I never intended to be. To have any avatar on screen for the stream. The reason I don't have uh, an avatar on my... The reason I don't have a... I was going to have a normal camera on my art channel, but they didn't... There was none to buy. I could not purchase one, so that's why I don't have one on my other channel. But... I was not going to have any avatar on this channel. Oh no, I can't petrify it. Well, yeah, I, I was just never going to be on camera in reality because I'm I'm not putting on clothes to play video games. Get him, Kaine. And where have you been? Oof. Lost. Where have you been? Getting our asses handed to us by a floating dictionary. <laughs> I suppose strength is beyond measure. 
It's so Grim not War Noir. Again, it's 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 good writing. It's good characters. Like good voice acting on the characters. Who's this guy? Indy. He's a kid that runs this. Fuck! This book is a real asshole. Yeah, I should have warned you about that, Emil. Ah, oh, the sweet dulcet tones of the woman ringing my ears yet again. Nah. You guys go. This is my fight. This book's a real asshole. He's turned into stone, right, kid? He can't petrify it. He tried. Oh. Save the heroics for when you're older. Oh shit. What? He wrecked your shit. There's no indication when my health is low. I'm pretty sure you've got a health bar somewhere. I do, but I, it, it wasn't like, oh, hey, you're about to die. You should heal yourself. Your health bar is right up there. I know, but there was no indication that my health was low. So what's the plan then? I am an arcane text, not a manual of combat. You are supposed to deal with such matters. It's fine. It's a magic book. You're a magic book. Like what? Who's this guy? Why do you not think this is your job right now? The only thing that can defeat a magic book is a magic book. Yeah, the only thing that beats a bad guy with a magic book is a good guy with a magic book. Well, you're not wrong in this case. Again, I don't mind putting on clothes and showing my face on stream, but I couldn't buy a webcam. <laughs> there were none for sale at the time. Oh, it blew up. Whoops. My pornography. Well, I mean, if it comes to life and tries to kill you, what choice do you have? Vice, this is it. Did you really just be Grim a Noir? Curse. Ah. Or is that Grimoire Beige? Dark Whirlwind. Neat. Oh no, this passage is written in some kind of code. We Rice. went through all this trouble to find it, and now... Why? Oh, Jeeves is back. Please allow me to handle this, Master Emil. I shall put all of my efforts into deconstructing this cipher. Just hand it to no Weiss. No matter how long it takes, I will not fail. Well, Weiss makes out that he's smarter than he is. Sebastian. Ah, so the servant has a name after all. <laughs> <laughs> it's fucking Cobol. Did anyone speak Cobol? Don't look at my tits. Me. I guess you can't. <laughs> <laughs> yes? What is it? What? 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 Your Adam. eyes are not a sin. Don't ever be ashamed of them. They're part Why of you. Why is she making little boys' hearts part race, Adam? Do you understand? She knows what it's like to be discriminated against. And yeah, that's why she felt him up and down like that. Stone Cold Diddy Austin. <laughs> what? A shade? How did you? This arm, this creature, it's me. I thought I'd need it only until I found my vengeance. Angst. <laughs> I figured it was all over. <laughs> but there's a reason I'm alive. That my arm is alive. And there's a reason for your eyes, too. Kaine. But listen. If this shade should ever... <sighs> what? She's not carrying him. No. Kaine. Kaine. I promise I'll never give up. But you can't give up either. 
Well, we're off. Bye. Listen, Yona's sick, and she doesn't have a lot of friends. If you could send more letters, I'm sure she'd appreciate it. I would be delighted, sir. Bye, everyone. Thank you. Hang in there. Next time what we you, meet, what was unclear? She was offering. She gave the boys some emotional support you by telling yeah, him her story. Yeah. Yeah. Hopefully it was nothing inappropriate for a young man of his age. What an asshole. Speak the truth, hussy! What? <laughs> Shut up. Yeah, cram it, Vice. We've got our hands on all the sealed verses. Yes, Daisy, now, thank all you. Remains is to find this grim Why did she animal? caress the oh, face? Because he's blind. <laughs> got to appeal to all the other senses, huh? What's up, dude? <laughs> Back to the best part of this game. No, she was... Yes, she was showing him that she is a shade. She is also... Uh, unnatural. Even though his glance turns people to stone. Yeah, it's a little different. I mean, he's a human. That's just a shitty thing to have, right? Like... What it... No. Yep, there goes Abel. <laughs> he's just frozen. He's dead. Uh... <laughs> Damn it. Alright. No. Let's, let's dig into this. No, no. There's no time to dig into it. It's... No, no. Games. The boy can't look at things. Yona, come. We need your rest. I'm sorry. This isn't like uh Things are happening. Oh, she's got it so much worse. She doesn't have it so much worse. It won't be long, Yona. I have all of the sealed verses. Now, I just need to find Grimoire Noir. Really? Already? Yeah. Beaten this it already? It's dangerous. Will you be okay? Don't worry about me. Time has come. Are you gonna make me better? Is my cough gonna go away? Yona? Dad. Don't... Don't hate me for this. <laughs> Okay. What are you talking about? <laughs> it's just... I don't want you to hate me because of this... This... Disease. A father could never hate his daughter. I'll see if Popola has more medicine. Alright. I mean, yes, not being able to Yona look at things have the sucks. to fight this disease. Sure. Mm. Ah. must find Grimoire Noir at once. Only this can save her. Alright, let's go wreck shit. Don't be mean to Yona. Ban that man. <laughs> Calf, <laughs> silence him. Silence this man. Popola. Her cough is getting worse. Oh, that's not good. I need more medicine, please. The thing is, I actually just ran out. I hate you to bitch. ask this, but can you get me some vapor moss? You'll find it growing near the southern gate. Carbs and protein. You said vapor moss, right? I'll be right back. I was just cosplaying. I didn't mean it. <laughs> I didn't mean it. <laughs> Let's. Go get some vapor moss, I guess, by the southern gate. Maybe. All right, let's. Oh, we've met everyone. There's the vapor moss. Vapor moss. Is this not the southern gate? No, it is. Yes, I remember the vapor moss. 
suddenly you're back where it all started. But with all the sealed verses and ready to take on the final boss. Looking back at your journey thus far and ready to finish it. Now, if I was a Grimoire Noir, where would I be? Me. Oh. What in the shit? What is it? What happened? What are you doing here, kid? The plot thickens. He doesn't appear injured. I think it's just fatigue. I can't imagine how hard it is to run all this way without sight. Nah, I'm sure he turned a few things to stone on his way are you here. All right, Amy? <laughs> I can follow the trail of statues. Yeah. <laughs> Don't talk. The air. It's vibrating. I can feel it behind my eyes. So much pressure. Oh god. There's so many of them. So many what? Get out. The souls. Get out of the village. The shades are coming. They're here. Outside, okay. now. It's the tit monster. No, we killed the tit monster. We did kill the tit monster. Is there a ball monster? I mean, there's not not a ball monster. That's the new one. Now it's starting to hint at the real stuff. Don't worry, I've got dark magics. Ooh. The darkest of magics. Uh, where, where are the shades? Guys, shades? Shades! Hello. I thought you were storming the village. Hi, devil. Uh... What's going on? Oh. Uh, shades are storming the village, duh. Get everyone into the oh, the audio. Someone make sure Ugh. Don't worry. I'll go and get her. Just don't get yourself killed, all right? Go, devil up. Hurry. It's too many balls. Balls, 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 balls. Fuck you guys. Kill every last one of you. Stop throwing balls. Come on. Bring everything you've got. Pathetic. Even in death, they disgust me. Hurry! Hurry! Get the we got more the gates. Library. It's a pretty good gate. Oh, well, I guess not. Oh my god. Sorry. About that gate. Quick! Close the third gate! <laughs> hmm. I don't have a gate for that one. Yeah, that's a little much. Ah, it's a tentacle monster. Ah. Yona, get away! No. It's okay, dude, I got like... Nah, this is Resident Evil 6. It's okay, I got... Oh. Magics! Ooh, that's gonna... I don't think that's gonna do it. Yeah, that didn't seem to do much, no. The arms are vulnerable when it attacks. There's your hint. Yep. Attack me, brah! Come at me, bro! Find an opening for your attack! I'm trying! I'm trying. <laughs> I'm trying, I'm trying! Get away, please. When he punches, get his hand. Yeah, hold on. I deal with these guys. I do this. Like every giant enemy ever. Guess I should get closer and make him attack. 
Easy. Oh, almost. Hey, you fuckers. Get away from me. Oh, god damn it. Ooh. Ooh, interesting, interesting, interesting. Get you some of that medicinal herb. I haven't really been, like, doing any item shopping at all in this game. Whew. I just gotta... Hey, you wanna hit the ground here? Yeah, you do. Yeah. Oh, neat. Fuck you guys. Fucking shield havers. This is taking a minute, huh? I mean, I just gotta wait for that gauge to pop up. Oh. That'll do. Oh. Oh shit! <laughs> I love this big fist! <laughs> yeah, right? Hello! <laughs> That's a good magic. Damn! Wait, I got this. Bayonet! Yeah, basically. I'm a golden! <laughs> Oh, A regenerating shade. How will we even know if our attacks are working? We'll just have to keep hitting it until it stops moving. It does have a health bar. Yeah, it's got a health bar right there. I do want to do a check here. Uh, 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 Speed run. Speed run. No time to waste. Perhaps its interior is more vulnerable. Oof. Oh. Dodged it though. Hey buddies. See ya. Don't care. Bye. So throw some magic in its mouth and then look out. Whoa! Wow. He's got a lot of balls in there, man. Sure Get are. Get out of here, guys. Get. Shoot. Oh, I'm out of magic. Damn it. Just gotta get it to do that again. Open wide, buddy. Whoa! Huh? Window. No. I just need more magics. There we go. Need more magic. No, 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 I got him. I got him. I got him. I got him. Absorb that shit. Look where he's going. Like hell he is. He's a big boy. Sure is. Oh no, he's spitting out more tits. We can't let him get to the library no matter what. They're testicles. Testicles, ah. Testicles. Shuck, 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 shuck. With my spear and my magic notebook. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty much. There 
go. Get him, get him, get on my way. Magic notebook. Suck him up. That's not what you want to say. Suck him up. I didn't say off. I said off. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. Oh. oh. You can take hits, can he? This isn't working. I can no, see that. Not. Love to see. Boss fight over? That was awesome. Kinda. Underestimate us at your own peril, fiend. Keep hitting it. At some point, it's gotta start working. <laughs> she trying to raise our morale, or is she <laughs> honestly that insane? It's retreating to the library. Nah. No, that's yeah, where Yona right. is. Not happening. And I got you. You're gonna die today, shit hog. <laughs> <laughs> Come now, that's not even a real word. You're almost there. Keep pushing. Looks like you've learned how to swing that thing. I'm so glad you noticed. Is that what counts as flirting? We're not hitting on fucking Kaine. How are you still alive, motherfucker? Oh yeah, shit hogs going in the boat cab. You really know how to put up a fight, Kaine. Fuck you. Come on, super fist him. Trying. Come on, keep pushing him. I'm pushing. Hey, give him a big fist. I mean, clearly, I, it's not gonna not gonna let me Die, do it. You big shithead. Until it's time. There we go. Not gonna reach him with the fist. Use the spears. He's still too high. Come down here, motherfucker. Do it now. I only have one. You your strength, okay. You're the pair of It's a regenerating shade. Damn it, it's not. Yeah, it's got no range. Hit him again, suck him up! Where's Emil when you need him? Yeah, that kid would have been super useful right now. Weak. Turn it to stone. Whoa, shit. Well, Hold what? on, Yona. I'm coming. Emil, get him! Emil, you can't keep fighting like this! Kone! Get out of there, 
a meal. Oh. That fist is so good. Yeah. You told me once that my eyes had value, and I shouldn't be ashamed of them. Oh, we just killed that thing. Now it's just a dick. <laughs> Is there no way to kill this infernal thing? Shoot it in the dick. Punch it. He's healing too quickly. We need a better plan. Punch it. Just overwhelm the healing factor. That's always how you deal with these things. And slice him into a million pieces and shoot him into the moon. Well, I mean. You can stun Wolverine for a brief period of time if you overwhelm its healing factor, which gives yeah. you a chance to put him somewhere else. Yeah, I don't think stunning is going to solve this problem. And when I mean stun, I mean like you put him down for a few hours. And then what? <laughs> if you move it somewhere else or relocate oh. your objective. I think the only thing that probably doesn't work on is the hall. Perhaps we could chase him to the basement and seal him there. Those walls are thick rock. I doubt even this beast could break them. See? Works Weiss has got the right idea. Great. I love basements. You don't beat things <laughs> that regenerate like that. Contain them. Get away from me. <laughs> Punch it again. Push him to the basement! Put him in the basement! Do it! What? Slash him in the face more! Use your bayonetta arms! Bam! Bam! Just loves that one too. Close the doors, that'll do it. <laughs> no. Really? Through the floor? <gasps> cutscene wound. It's a cutscene wound. What the hell is that? Oh, Shadow Lord. I love you, Shadow Lord. Come over here and give me a big sloppy kiss, Shadow Lord. I already Dear dislike God. this. <sighs> Yona! But what is the truth behind the Shadow Lord? Is that the leader of these creatures? It's Grim One R. One R. Sure is. This sucks. And it's got <laughs> Sith lightning. How is that some consider unnatural? The Noir side. This place. <laughs> I am Grimoire Noir. I am you. What's impossible? 
Do you not remember Grimoire Vice? We too serve a higher purpose. I am Grimoire Noir, the true self. Enough lies. Stay back. Why do you try to suppress the memory? Do you fear hurting someone close to you? Preposterous. You are preposterous. We are mere books created to serve the Shadow Lord. You have no right to forsake him. The Shadow Lord. Do you remember our ultimate goal? Our ultimate goal. White and black shall fuse to one and set free shades to the world. Fuse us. Oh, the no, plots of the, the grand plan is a not. word play. I will never Your chance encounter with this man. There's a lot Your to be revealed. Of the sealed verses. It was all set in motion by the Shadow Lord himself. And it will not be revealed no. here. Lies. The time has come for us to create a new and perfect world. Nope. Nothing but shambling, dumb AI. We shall become as one, you and I. Become one. Mice, you dumbass! Kaine. Start making sense, you rotten book, or you're gonna be sorry. Maybe I'll rip your pages out one by one, or maybe I'll put you in the goddamn furnace. How can someone with such a big, smart brain get hypnotized like a little bitch, huh? Oh, Shadow Lord, I love you, Shadow Lord. Come over here and give Vice a big, sloppy kiss, Shadow Lord. Now pull your head out of your goddamn ass and start fucking helping us! I am one with the Shadow... <sighs> bitch. <laughs> we Grimoires exist to create in this world a new and just paradise. You and I must unite. The world demands it. Meanwhile... Paradise. Yes, and we are so close to realizing it. Kaine, nice. your input? Pull your head out of your goddamn ass. Who's there? It's okay. I'll understand. I'll understand if you forget us. But I promise, I won't forget you. To the power of friendship. I'll remember you, no matter what. I will keep the memory of Grimoire Vice alive forever. And that's not all I'll do. I'll, I'll. Turn you to stone, bitch. I'll chase you to the end of time and. I'll bring you back to us! Vice, please! Please come back to us! Damn it, we need to stop him! If we don't do something, that black book will absorb Vice! Black. White. He's black. black. He's white. White. It don't matter if you're black or white. Yes, ba -da -da -da. now we shall unite in common purpose. Then the world can bear witness to our Meal's kind of a power. dumbass. And he really didn't have a lot going on beforehand, so it's easy for him to get invested. Yeah, he just had a piano. Boys. Compared to that, a talking book's like, oof, like a pet. For the last time, my name is Grimoire Vice, and it is not <laughs> to be abbreviated. Vice! Vice! <laughs> to see you, Kaine. Although I don't think anyone has ever accused me of being a little bitch before. <laughs> and you, we meet again. Vice! 
You okay? I believe I could ask you the same question right now. Impossible. We must unite. We must become as one. I ba, ba, don't ba, ba, like ba. you, and I want nothing to do with you. Besides, I have my companions. Of course, Boys. they're weak, and they whine when I leave. It's almost too much hey. trouble. But they are my friends. I shall fight by their side, now and forever. Vice, thanks. <gasps> I'm gonna hit you with my big fist. Yeep. Oh, never mind. Oh. I'm not gonna All do right. that. I'm gonna hit you with my sword. How dare you ignore them? Perhaps you Where? Where, book? God damn you, book. Let us start by dispatching the nearby distractions. Come back, book. Fuck you. Yeah. Book! I'll get you, Book! I can't use my if I had my magic powers, I swear to God, Book! God! <clears throat> gonna be a real dick about it, huh? It's alright, it's alright, it's okay. I don't need magic. Just going to slice you with the sword. Impertinent fool. Yeah. Woo. Punch him in the face. Nah, that's not the punchy one, unfortunately. No. Oh. That's not either, but I like that one too. Oh, fucking shit! I feel like Lance's. Yo, dog. Hope you like uh, getting punched in the face. Oh shit! Sorry, it it uh swapped my thing. I actually do need to uh, set this to dark blast. Boom. Oh. Fuck your pages. <laughs> <laughs> it's pretty good. What you got for me? Oof. Ooh. Get the fuck away from me! Okay, this is Dark Lance. My Dark Lance is pretty good, though. Pew. Pew, pew, pew. Come here. Ah. Oh, fuck you! Finish him! Just beat all the sealed verses out of him all over. We have reclaimed my Ooh. power! Wish you had a dark heal, though, buddy. <laughs> yeah, I don't have uh, much here. Shit! Uh oh. Hey guys, you wanna help? Looking yeah. for assistance? Anybody? Anybody? Got assistance for me? Turn it to stone, maybe? Stay away! Ooh. This library isn't gonna hold for long. We must finish this quickly. I'm trying! That's okay, the rubble just disappears after a few seconds. It's not a big deal. I never run from a fight. Oh, fuck you. 
He's so close. Come here. Enjoy. Punch it. I'm gonna fist you in the face. Bam. Dude, I think the book would have been fine. No. <laughs> He's made of paper, Abel. He's got a big metal face. <laughs> you will understand in time. In time. So he sends him back in time a thousand years? Get up! Yep. No! Give my daughter. We're going to the dinosaur back. age. It was dinosaurs all along. See? Yeah. The dinosaurs, dinosaurs evolved into the, sh the shades and then the. Boy, look. Look with your special <laughs> eyes. No matter how things unfold, it all returns to us. All of it. See ya. That better not be the end of the game. Yona. The end. Yona. They all lived unhappily ever after. Okay. Are you okay? Yona. Is this blood? <laughs> the fight's over. And I think we lost. We? Sorry. I think this is it for me, too. You didn't even get injured. Kaine! I'm quit crying. Look, before I go, we need to take care of this guy. Emil. Yeah? I want you. She whispered to him before. I want you to petrify me. Use me to keep this thing locked away. No! I can't! Kaine, stop it. He's right. It's suicide. You can't do it. I won't let you. Powers exist to protect others, right? Come on. Let's do it. Kaine! Just do it, Emil. But. He's going to break down the fucking door! I... I don't know what, what is to What is turning do. her to stone gonna do? To hold the door. Like... Hold the door, Abel! Presumably, wouldn't she be stronger with her muscles and not as stone? That's not how stone Which, works. Adam... Adam... Stone, like, all right. Can Stone perform a 500 foot vertical leap? Well, look, she's about to die. So, what are your options here, Abel? She, what, she's just gonna die just standing there? Yeah, but she's dying from the shade in her arm. Well, if she's gonna die just standing there, then petrify her. Well, it's fine, because the, op the other option is that everybody dies, so. All right, the other option is rocks fall, everyone dies. So, let's, let's go. Uh, but yeah, this. Could outsource this to offshore labor, yes. Abel. Ho door. Got to hold the door. Organize. Kaine. No more crying, okay? Oh, see, there you go. He's Couldn't he just turn the whole the door whole stone? That's what he's doing. Never lose hope. But did, he didn't need to... All right, whatever. Spare me the goodbye, hussy. I imagine it will take more than this to kill you. I doubt it. Like, really, he could have just froze the whole damn door like that, but okay. Wait for me, Yuna. Well, Wait for me. 
First of all, that thing was busting down the door. And second of all, I swear. she was about to turn into a shade. Oh, okay. Shouldn't he put his blindfold back on? No, kid, you're going to turn the sun <laughs> to stone. Don't do it. He'll doom us all to an eternal winter. All right, well. That's, uh... Five years later. Sure. Time skip! Oh my god, yes, that's why it was snowing in summer. He turned the sun to stone. And that was, like, 1,800 years ago. 1,317 yeah, years ago. They get sent back in time. The Time's good! Have armor? Why do these shades have armor? Alright. Don't let your guard down. Is this Act 2, Adam? Uh, it's more like Act 3. Or is it Act 3? Is Act 3? Okay. I was going to end it at that save point, but... Alright, folks. Act 3. Next time. Enough horseplay. I'm going to do a big fists. Bam! Just Dash taste. charge. Give you just a little taste to Act 3. Funk. It's me. I'm near. But five years in the future! Ah, I'm future near. Oh, now I got that. That's a good one. Spinning attacks. Yep, those are neat. But what happens in the future? The future! Kaine is turned to stone. The Shadow Lord took Yona. I've lost an eye. Yeah. What does the future hold, Abel? Eyes be missing. We may never know until Tuesday when we will we will know. See you guys then. Vice, you dumbass! Start making sense, you rotten book, or you're gonna be sorry. Maybe I'll rip your pages out one by one, or maybe I'll put you in the goddamn furnace. How can someone with such a big smart brain get hypnotized like a little bitch, huh? Oh, Shadow Lord, I love you, Shadow Lord. Come over here and give Vice a big sloppy kiss, Shadow Lord. Now pull your head out of your goddamn ass and start fucking helping us!